Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Guess what's in the box? Have a guess. Yep, nice little punk collection. Picked up today, pay 25 quid for this box. I think it's a bargain. You can tell me when you see the contents. So let me show you. It's not often that I find uh, a whole load of punk records, but uh, I had a lucky day. So here we go, let's have a look what's in the box. So first up is Slaughter and the Dogs little uh, picture sleeve uh, cranked up really high uh, on Rabid Records catalogue number Tosh 101 looks like a little private press uh, 45 that one then we've got Sham 69 Angels with Dirty Faces on the Polydor label uh, that is 1978, catalogue number 2059023. Again, nice little picture sleeve. Next up is Sham 69, Son of the Streets. And thanks on the flip. Obviously that's not in its original sleeve. Don't know if that came in a picture sleeve, to be honest. Then we've got uh, Slaughter and the Dogs on a Decca label in a nice little uh, Decca sleeve. Uh, Johnny T on this side and Dame to Blame on that side. Like that little sleeve. Okay, another Slaughter and the Dogs. Where have all the boot boys gone? 1977 and You're a Boar on the flip. It's a nice little colour scheme. This has got like a paint splatted uh, label. Okay, this one doesn't have a picture sleeve. This is XTC on a Virgin label. Making plans for Nigel, that's side one. And Bushman, President and Pulsing, Pulsing on the flip. Again, don't know if that came, should have had a picture sleeve, probably did. Okay, this one looks really interesting. This is The Lurkers, a free admission single. Shadow and comes with love story. Catalog number is big one. That looks interesting. Looks like they're standing outside of somewhere like Soho or something like that, but I'm not quite sure. So that looks really interesting. This one is in a plain sleeve, virgin label, side one, don't dictate penetration, 1977. And money talks on the flip. Again, should that have a picture, Steve? If any of you, uh, if there's any punk, punk fans watching this um, this uh, video, let me know if that should have come in a picture sleeve. Uh, this one's in a nice little picture sleeve, V2, with a rocket on the front. I don't know this, but it's on Bent Records. Uh, side 1, Speed Freak, Side 2, that's it. Oh, by the way, if, uh, if you are, have tuned into this and you're a punk fan, please uh, put a thumbs up. Uh, and maybe even subscribe, you never know, I might find some more punk uh, records in time to come. Uh, Vortex uh, Live, The Wasps and Main Street, little picture sleeve. This one doesn't have a sleeve, again, don't know if it should have done. This is Generation X Day by Day, 1977, on the Chrysalis label, yeah, this is the A-side, uh, Your Generation. Next one is uh, on the Polydor label, Sham 69. The scent has been punched out on this one. Hurry Up Harry, 1978. And no entry. Okay, this one, I think the track's called Identity, and I think the group's X ray specs on the uh, catalogue number INT563. Nice little picture sleeve, not sure what year. Let me know if you know what year that is. Then we've got Skids, working for the Yankee Dollar. Little picture sleeve, Virgin label, VS306. So yeah, um, I have found punk records over the years, but I don't think, I think it's probably the most I've found in one go. Sound of Suburbs, the members. Nice little picture sleeve again, 1979. That's like a matte finish on that sleeve. I don't know if I've got many punk uh, 
fans that watch my channel but uh, as you know I pick up uh, all sorts as they become available alternative TV I'm not going to read the next one how much longer a little bit of a rude word there uh, picture sleeve okay virgin sleeve but it's faded um, this is skids the saints are coming side one night and day side two this is an interesting uh, sleeves like uh, sort of gold gold finish on there I don't quite know what you call that um, but anyway it's all very shiny uh, catalogue number Lig 505 all I want when I'm bored that's two tracks I think all I want and when I'm bored I believe uh, okay plain sleeve sham 69 on the Polydor label I got a survive 1979 questions and answers on the flip probably about halfway through the box now this was 25 quid this box one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen there's probably about 30 records so I didn't even pay a pound each and I got the box so it was a bargain um, doing it the English way young love Put his fingers up in the air there uh, this is on the Virgin label side one is masquerade the skids and out of town on the flip God save the Queen uh, well sex best was quite common you can see this one's well well the sleeves well beat up so it's probably been well played um, Virgin Records 1977 um, many years ago many years ago I visited um, this is a long time ago many years ago in Croydon I visited Croydon uh, Tobino's they had a record shop there a very famous record shop and in the glass cabinet this was in the late 80s maybe early 90s they had a god save the queen a m test press uh, i think it was a test press and it was thousands of pounds back then but i think i think it's uh, not a test press a promo i think the uh, a m promo of that before it changed labels or something but anyway uh cortinas defiant pose little picture sleeve not sure what that says but that bit says the yobs not sure what the title is Looks like, I don't know what it is. Uh, yeah, distributed by Pi, little picture sleeve. What's that say? Suburban something. That looks, I can't read it because that looks like a, looks like a seven. V I don't know what that says. Let me know. I hate school. <laughs> I think most people from that period did. Uh, 1978. Okay, uh, this one doesn't have its picture sleeve, not sure if it should. This is One Chord Wonders by the adverts on Stiff Records and Quick Step on the flip. Uh, this one, the Cortinas, someone's decorated their sleeve themselves on a Step Forward record label, 1977. Now, this one looks more like a more modern uh, 80s pop record but it's 999 me and my desire and crazy not sure what year that is the fact that it's in here I would say it's probably punk generation X little picture sleeve wild youth on a chrysalis label sham 69 there's going to be a Borstal breakout. Looks like they're breaking out of uh, jail there. 1978. Anarchy in the UK, Six Pistols. That's an odd label. That is foreign, I believe. I'm not sure. I don't know if that's Italian. I want to be me on the flip. Uh, don't know if any of you can identify what press that is, what country that's from. It's definitely not UK. Okay, this one looks interesting. The Fools, Psycho Chicken. Some odd titles for records, isn't there? 1980. That possibly looks German. 
couple left by the looks of it. Six pistols, pretty vacant. It's a virgin label, 1977. I don't think that's its original sleeve because that's an EMI sleeve. No fun on the flip. And this is the last one, the buzz, I was gonna say the buzzcocks, buzzcocks, what? Little artwork sleeve, do I get? It says United Artists on the back. So yeah, so um, quite a nice selection um, and, and quite a bargain. I mean, I haven't checked all the condition and I'm sure some of them are gonna be beat up. I mean, that six twistles one looks well trashed. <laughs> but uh, being punk records, they probably are trashed. Um, it's pretty wild times back then so uh yeah thanks for watching everyone uh please give me a thumbs up if you're a punk fan and you uh, liked going through that collection and uh, see you all soon for the next uh, finds video if i find anything probably will been quite lucky stay tuned bye